Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of this uh, short series I'm doing within Lightroom. Um, today we're going to cover what I think is a very, very useful um, a, a useful feature in Lightroom. Um, two actually, and that's called flagging and uh, the colour coding features that Lightroom has. Um, and the reason for these, um, flagging, um, is essentially going through your photographs after you've imported and selecting the ones that you think are um, are going to be the ones you're going to use um, whether you're going to say you've got 100 photographs maybe go through them and pick 20 um, and then select those 20 and then you know shorten that list down to 10, 5 etc etc so I've got some very basic <laughs> photographs here that I took uh, a few months ago um, of my housemates uh, trying to put up the swimming pool in our back garden um, turned out to have a puncture though if you select one of your photographs in the gallery or library um, mode you'll see that you if you put your cursor over it you'll see in the top left corner there is actually a flag there now there's a couple ways you can actually select this flag and you can literally click on it or you can press the letter P um, and it's just a very quick way of going through for example if you click P you can see that that flag lights up so that within the mass amount of photographs that you've got you'll be able to see which ones you've gone through and chosen for example you just use your arrow keys go across hit P and that's basically it for picking your photograph um, that's one way of doing it now another way I like to choose the photographs um, not just for editing for, for, for the photographs that I'm going to be using is I like to use color coding to select which ones um, for example I want to export to Photoshop um, if I'm doing a big edit of loads of photographs and I don't want to have to export every photograph like during the process I like to go through in Lightroom do what I can in Lightroom and then go through and decide which ones need to be taken to Photoshop and the way to do this is to use the numbers on your keyboard <clears throat> um, from 6 up to 9 I think it, 10 might be no no it's not uh, it's not 10 so 6 up to 6, 7, 8, 9 are all different colors so if for example I'd finished editing this photograph um, and I wanted to take it to Photoshop I would press 7 and that will give me a yellow box around the photograph and then when I'm going along you'll see that the actual border around the photograph has changed as well um, and then I could use another color for example the photographs I want exported as JPEGs or those exported as TIFFs um, so I could press 6 and that will give me a red border so you can separate your images and um, allocate different purposes of those images by by using a different color and it's just a really really good way of you know keeping everything visual so you know where you are and you're not losing track of things if you finish for the day and come back the next day you know where you got to with your photographs um, so that for me is one of the great features in Lightroom um, and I hope that you have fun messing around with it getting to grips with it um, there are different colors uh, if you press 8 that will give you a green one and if you press 9 I think it's a blue one yes and it becomes very visual which I think is fantastic um, so yeah I hope you like that guys um, make sure you subscribe and rate and comment and stuff give me lots of feedback and um, I want to keep these videos going and making sure I'm creating decent videos for you guys and not just wasting your time <laughs> so let me know guys and I'll speak to you soon take care bye bye